is our first sea day and we ordered um, breakfast to the room and I just wanted to show you because we did order this for two people and it's half eaten because we were going to share and it looks really messy but it was such minimal food for two people like literally this was everything we have a little bit of fruit one yogurt and um Emily ate half of each thing but it was just a muffin a danish and a croissant and then we had coffee the fruit's not half eaten and then we got a piece of everything yeah right yeah the fruit's not half eaten that's literally what we got so i feel like for two people this is not a lot I and mean, like we're gonna share a yogurt <laughs> so i don't know i'm gonna make a note next time and see if that makes a difference but i thought that was important to know because we totally did not expect this small amount of food so now we're gonna go to the sea day brunch and actually eat and we got these cute magnets from an etsy shop called acting ashley it has our names on it really cute good morning guys it is monday morning about nine o'clock and me and emily just made reservations for the sea day brunch so now you check in on your app and then it tells you when to come or when your table's ready so it's been a 10 minute wait all morning which isn't bad so we're gonna head out now and have some breakfast since our room service wasn't very good this morning and we have a full itinerary today. There's lots of events and fun things going on on the ship. So we just um, wrote down everything that we wanna do and I'm gonna bring you guys along. We have a really fun sea day planned. This is the first time I've ever been on a cruise where it is currently 29 degrees outside. So we are not going to be outside going to the pool or anything like that but there's lots of fun things to do on the ship and tomorrow we will be in the Bahamas and it's gonna be much warmer for the rest of our trip, which is very nice. For breakfast, I got the French toast, scrambled eggs and bacon and orange juice and Emily got some kind of a chia something. So if you guys remember these magnets that I had made for our door, there was a big one that said girls trip and it was really cute. And somebody just stole it off of our door this morning while we were at breakfast. So I brought the ones with our name on it inside because I don't want someone to steal those, but I just think that's awful. Why would somebody steal something like that? And it's not even like they're drunk because it's early in the morning. I don't know, but I'm really sad about it. Of course, then tomorrow and then on the fourth day of the cruise, that is when we get to our first port of call, which is Nassau, Bahamas. Uh, the arrival time is estimated. So let's say you're booking a pizza, you go to the Pizzeria Capitano. This is amazing. We got our sign back. <laughs> That's crazy. Hello everyone. Very exciting things today. First, we got our sign back. Mom left a very threatening note. Yes. And it's back. We got it. We got it back. <laughs> and we went. They were went, scared of me. They were so <laughs> scary. And then we went to what is it called? Um, the well, no, not welcome aboard. Fun a Sh fun aboard Ashore. fun ashore show. Yeah. And they had raffles, and I won an excursion, and I never win anything. And we have a shopping excursion now for Freeport. Perfect for <gasps> Yeah. And there were literally three like big giveaways and they were all shore excursions and we won the one we most wanted. So that's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. I'll give you five extra raffle tickets just by doing that. So make sure you always pay attention. Look at how cute this is. And they have little chocolates too. <laughs> So we went to this thing where you go to an art auction and you get free champagne and they give away all of these things. They were giving us raffle tickets for the last two days. We had to like participate in all this stuff and they would give us tickets and we collected them and we were waiting for the raffle. We were over an hour into it. They started auctioning art that was thousands and thousands of dollars. Like I was not signing up for that. We never got our free champagne. We didn't stay long enough to see when they were doing the raffles because it was painful. <laughs> so if you're going on a carnival cruise, um, if you're not really considering spending thousands of dollars in an auction, do not do the champagne and art uh, auction thing that they have going on. The one we did last night was actually really fun because as soon as I walked in, they gave me a glass of champagne and they did have some giveaways and things and it was super short and fun, but today was painful. 
We just got back to the room and we have our first towel animal and also one of our excursions. This is for our day in Nassau. We're doing like a, um, a private island beach thing. But isn't that cute? What is it? A, you think it's a dog? I have no idea. <laughs> really cute. All right, we're gonna get lunch because that was really painful what we just went through. <laughs> So we got some Chinese food from Chopsticks and we have a nice ocean view table here. We're taking a little bit of a lunch break. So we're here for tea time. We have lots of good stuff. And we got our free bracelet. And for $10 you get all these charms. And this charm was free. Getting all the freebies today. So I have on my bracelet with the charms and there's chocolate cake and macaroons and lemon cake and cucumber and cream cheese and chocolate cake. And, and we got everything. And we got every, yeah, I think we got a little bit of everything. Okay, tip of the day. Make sure you ask for cream right away. Otherwise, you might not get it for a very long time, if not at all. And whatever's going around, just take whatever you think you might consider wanting because they come once and then you're done. So <laughs> you be obnoxious and beg them. Um, yeah, I had to be a little obnoxious, but <laughs> we're good now. We're back from tea time and I think we have a few hours now until dinner. It's going to be elegant night. So tonight we dress up. They do pictures before dinner. So we'll probably go a little bit early for that. And I don't really know what we're gonna do right now. I think I am going to go take a walk just because it's finally warming up. I think it's about 60 degrees. So I might just go up to the Lido deck and walk around or go up to the top deck and just get some fresh air and exercise and then we will be showering and getting ready for dinner tonight tonight on the agenda pretty much every night they have some type of a show so we might go to the show we definitely want to check out the comedy show tonight because last night that was really fun the crowd really seems to get involved and it's just hysterical so there is a female performer tonight that we really want to see and that's really it they have um a late night nightclub. I don't even think it opens till like 11 o'clock called Medusa's Lounge, which also looks super cool. So if we're still awake that late, maybe we'll check that out too. But now I think I am going to maybe go for a walk. It's crazy windy up here, but it's beautiful. And nobody is up here. I am like on the very top of the street. One mile so I'm gonna try to get two miles in with this view not too bad I think that's what I want to do in the mornings now especially since it's hopefully gonna be warming up a lot I guess they're calling it elegant night tonight. So we're all ready for dinner. This is what I'm wearing. And what I did was I brought a bottle of wine because you're, you are allowed to bring one bottle of wine on the ship per adult who's 21 years and over. And I got this cup from Amazon. It's just like one of those Tervis cups. So there's two glasses of wine in there. This way I have a glass of wine with dinner and then I'll have one for the comedy show tonight. So we're gonna head down now because they're doing pictures and then we're gonna try to get to dinner early as soon as they open up so we can make it in time for the comedy show. Okay guys, so like I said, it's formal night and this is what I'm wearing. 
I have a yellow purse, this black and silver dress. I have this little jacket, but I can take it off if it gets too hot. And we're headed to our first, well, they're actually calling it elegant night tonight. And yeah, this is my outfit for our first night dressing up for dinner. And this is my outfit, everyone. Thank you. And this is mom <laughs> being a weirdo. Thanks. Elegant night dinner. Emily has fried oysters and I have meatball soup. So Emily ordered the strip steak and the lobster and I ordered I ordered the pasta dish tonight and they had a root vegetable pie. We're ordering two meals because last night it just wasn't enough food and like I'm not a really big eater but I was still hungry when we were done eating. <laughs> so I ordered both of these for my meal tonight. Tonight we both got the creme brulee. So we rushed through our dinner as fast as we possibly could to catch the 8.30 comedy show and we made it by 8.30 but it was already filled to capacity. So that's unfortunate. So now we put on our bathing suits and we're going to head to the hot tub on the Serenity deck which is adult only. So hopefully it's not too crowded there and we're just gonna relax in the hot tub. Yeah. <laughs> We're back from the hot tub and the funny thing is the hot tub was not nearly as hot as the pool. Everyone was saying how hot the pool was so we went in the pool and I swear it was like maybe 120, 130 degrees. It was painfully hot. <laughs> but anyway, that's what we did. We went in the hot tub for a little while, went in the really, really crazy hot pool for a while. And now we're back in the room. I'm gonna rinse off and I'm not sure. We might just be calling it a, a night at this point because the comedy show didn't work out and I think we're just both really tired. So I think that's gonna be it for tonight. We have another C day tomorrow and tomorrow's gonna be warm. So hopefully we'll, we will be spending the entire day at the pool. All right, I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. Good morning guys, it's 8 a.m. and I am headed out to the Lido deck get to get some coffee. So here is the Serenity deck and if you can see those two yellow towels to the left, I reserved those two chairs for today. But all of the canopy chairs are already cleaned before 8 a.m. They have this really cute chess set on deck 10. I'm doing my laps again. Seven times around, two miles. They also have ping pong tables, which I've seen a lot of kids doing this during the day. There is this yellow twister slide, and then next to it, you can see where you get on way up there, which it's crazy windy up there, is this green slide, the green thunder. day and I got up, got coffee. Like I said, I cleaned a chair over at the Serenity deck, but they only hold your chairs for 45 minutes. So we're going to have to get back down there soon. Um, we still need to have breakfast and stuff. I took a walk, no better way to take a morning walk than just being completely surrounded by the ocean. It's so pretty. But anyway, I'm waiting for Emily to wake up. Teenagers really sleep a lot. <laughs> And I like to get up early, get coffee, go for a walk. Um, yeah, and she's just sleeping away. So she's gonna chat me. Carnival has a chat on their app. So we spent $5 each to have the chat. And now she can message me when she wakes up and we'll go get breakfast like we did this morning. Uh, yesterday morning, they have a restaurant open where they do sea day brunch. So we're probably gonna do that. If not, we can always just do the buffet. And then we're gonna head over to Actually, there's a show this morning we were going to. There's a Caribbean shopping show and they're doing more giveaways. So since Emily won the excursion, she's all about the giveaways right now. So we're gonna do the show and then we're gonna probably spend the day over on the Serenity deck and just lay in the sun, finally. Got the breakfast buffet this morning and I just got French toast and pancakes and scrambled eggs. And Emily's making herself some cereal too. She's pretty cranky because I woke her up. <laughs> I was getting really bored by myself. 
we had breakfast and now we're headed to the pool. The boat is really rocking. A lot of people are not feeling well. I could really, like it's hard to even stand or walk right now. I'm not even kidding, it's pretty bad. So I think it's always best to get outside if you're starting to feel a little bit seasick. And definitely these sea bands, they have saved me, I think. <laughs> year after year, every time I cruise, I always wear them. And fingers crossed, I don't really ever get seasick. So that's great because I am prone to motion sickness. I'm also um, sucking on a ginger like lozenger right now that I purchased before we came on the cruise just to make sure that we don't get sick. Emily's taking Dranamine and we're gonna go sit outside because I think we'll feel much better being outside, fresh air, all of the things. We have um, the Caribbean shopping show that we wanted to attend at 11.45 and then we'll probably have lunch and literally spend the whole day at the pool because we have nothing planned for today. And I am ready for some sun because we were off to a rough start with two cold days at sea. We just got back to the room because we're getting ready to go to the show. And today we have this cute little bird. <laughs> Look at that. Really adorable. That's like one of the most fun things about Carnival Cruises is the really cute animals that they leave in your room every morning. We got some pirate pizza and we're eating it over on the Serenity Deck. So we're at tea time again and the ocean is still really rough. And I went to the jewelry shop and they have like a charm of the day every day to go with the bracelets that we got yesterday. So today's charm was a palm tree and it's five dollars. But then I'll have another one tomorrow and the day after that. Every day they have like a special charm for the day. It's now about 6.30 and we're getting ready for casual night. We need to go down, they do pictures around seven o'clock and then we usually just hang out in the lounge area for a little bit, listen to the live music and then go into dinner at 7.45. And tonight we're going to do the show and hopefully the comedy show. So the musical show tonight is, I think it's called The British Invasion. Um, Emily might opt out of that one. She's really not too interested in it, but I still wanna go. So. I'm definitely going to be doing that and then we're going to hopefully get into the comedy show that we missed last night because it filled to capacity so early and today was just, I don't know, it wasn't really that warm out <laughs> at all. It was pretty cold, it was cloudy, um, it's interesting going on a cruise this time of year because I've never had to deal with that before. Usually I go in the summer and it's never been an issue. So. Hopefully tomorrow we're gonna to be in Nassau, Bahamas. So we have a beach day. We have a beach excursion planned over at Paradise Island. No, it's not Paradise Island. Over at Blue Lagoon, that's the name of the private island. So we're gonna spend the whole day on the beach. So hopefully tomorrow's weather will be a lot nicer. And I'm gonna show you guys quickly what I am wearing tonight for casual night. All right, so this is my casual night outfit. I actually bought this top at, um, the outlets before our 2020 cruise that was canceled. So I think I purchased this like back in 2019. And I'm just wearing a denim jacket over it to make it a little bit more casual with my white jeans and flip flops. So that's what I'm going to be wearing for casual night on the cruise. We're waiting for dinner and I'm just having a margarita and watching the sunset. Perfection. We're at dinner and for an appetizer, I got a pork slider to start. For dinner tonight, I got the beef CD and Emily got another steak. For dessert tonight, we have the cheesecake with strawberry sauce and the chocolate lava cake, which again looks like Mickey Mouse. It's about, I don't know, maybe 11.30 and I didn't make it 
to the show tonight because my stomach was really hurting me after dinner. I was not feeling good at all. So I laid down for a little while, put on comfortable clothes, and then we ended up going to the comedy show, which I'm so glad we made it. Um, the comedian was Amy Ashton and she was hysterical. So she's going to have two more shows this week. I'm hoping to catch at least one more of them because she was really funny. But tomorrow we have to get up pretty early because we do have an excursion. So I have my alarm set for 745. We have breakfast coming between 730 and 8. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it's going to be an early morning. So we are going to get to bed. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night.